whether it's YouTube, it's your girl, Bad Asia Boo. You already know what's going on. So, let me tell y'all. Today, today is a highly requested video. Um, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do this video or not because it's a very touching moment. And every time I speak on it, it's like, I really get teary eyed. So, bear with me and hopefully we get through this little story time. So, exactly what I see. I'm coming to y'all with the story time. By the title, by the title, y'all. Okay. Let me just stop going around the bush. Okay, so. If anybody don't know, my last serious boyfriend that I was in my happy home with was um, DJ Ghost. His name was Hector Santos, and he stayed in Miami. He was a very known DJ, and this this is him. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but this was. Those are the stuff. And let me tell y'all, this has this this. I'm gonna try not to cry. This could be like I don't even know what to call it. This was like a real eye opener for me. Yeah, I do not want to cry, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, let me just get to the story. Let me just get to the story. So, okay, so, um, I was staying, base I was basically staying, like, with my own. I was staying with my dad because my mom had ended up moving to Orlando because um, we were staying in this house and um, it was like really old and the lady she wanted she wanted my mama to basically like pay the house off but my mom was like I'm not fin to continue to pay for something if I continue to have to keep you know fixing it up as I go and I'm already paying a thousand dollars. And on top of that, trying to help you cover whatever you don't broke in the house or whatever you need to fix in the house, it's not my responsibility. And I'm not planning on buying the house. So my mom ended up going to Orlando, boom. And then um, at the time she had left to go to Orlando, I was staying with my auntie because I didn't want to start over school. So I was like, I don't want to go to Orlando. And then I didn't want to go to my daddy's house because I was like, I got clients in Hollywood area. My dad said for a lot of them. So I was like, I got clients. I got students going to school. My friends, like, everybody's just so distant. And I was like, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get to them. So, boom, I was talking to this girl or whatever. I don't want to say her name. But I was talking to this girl. And long story short, you know, stuff was going down the hill. And... Ghost Hector, he had hit me up in my DMs when I did have a Facebook at the time. And I wish I had my Facebook still. I could show y'all the messages. But he basically was coming to me based on like on some promoting stuff because he was a known DJ. He was a known DJ and he had this team that always behind him. When he go out and party and DJ, they get a party list. Run that shit, let's go! Hey, my 
DMs, like on some promoting stuff or whatever. And I was like, sure, what I gotta do? So he was like, all right, when I come out, the, when we go out to parties, you know, your job is to basically, you know, get the party lit. Okay, everybody doing their own thing while we out partying and stuff, we promoting and stuff at the same time. We basically put on a brand for Team L I V E, as you can see. So then that happened. We had ended up going on our first little outing. We went to a party, and then after that, we went to um, we went to IHOP. We went to IHOP, we all were just talking, 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 or whatever, just laughing and talking, playing around. It was the boys, and it was, um, it was the boys, and I think it was my sister Jay or Nata. I don't know who was with me, but I was with one of the girls or whatever that I knew, and, um, he basically was trying, just, like, trying to talk to me, like, just trying to flirt and stuff, and I'm like... Okay, I see that you got a girlfriend. I'm like, last time I told you, I got a girlfriend too, so. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, that girlfriend stuff not too much that serious. But at the end of the day, I don't cross no type of boundaries. Like, I'm not no home wrecker. If you said what it, what it is, it better be that. I'm not coming to be in no beef with nobody, period. So, as time go on and on, and as me being the new girl on the team or whatever, and I didn't know he liked me. I really didn't. I didn't know who a DJ host was. I didn't know I was. I didn't even know I was even going to his parties and he was a DJ. I was like, dang, that party was lit. It was like, yeah, that DJ goes his party's always lit. I'm like, who's the DJ goes? <laughs> but I, I honestly did not know who that was. And um, yeah. After a while, we like going to party and stuff. He was just be like. You know, trying to talk to me and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, you acting like you don't got a girlfriend or what you say you don't. But I was like, whatever. So it just came to a point that you know, I guess you just like my vibe. You know, you know, other people had their eyes on me, and then I used to question myself to his friends like, like, don't call me sus. Don't be call me sus. And he over here speaking on me with y'all, and I don't know what's going on. It's like I don't want to have feelings with somebody and. I don't know, like, that type of person, I like confirmation, like, as long as I got confirmation, I don't care what nobody say, I'm not, you know, if you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you, if you kind of like me, but you got a girl, listen, we can't do nothing, my feelings ain't gonna get attached to you, because you already attached to somebody else that you ain't even let go, so that's just how it is, so anyways, boom, um, Let's just jump to the part to where, um, well, I found out what happened to him. Okay, after a while, he had started, um, this little bike thing, and his friends in Miami, they get these motors and put it on the bike, and his bike was Papa Smurf, so when they used to go to shows and stuff, he used to always be showing out on his bike and stuff, and I used to always be like, babe, like, be careful, like, make sure you got your hammer on, make sure you got your pass on. Make sure you got everything on, because I don't want you to come back home and you skint the, like, I used to be at his house all the time. Like, you could basically say I could say that. But it's the fact that he always wanted me there. And I feel like, you know, I'm a person that you feel like you could let your your guards down with. Somebody that you could open up to. You know, somebody that you could relate to that, you know, going to give you a positive feedback instead of something negative and make you be like, bro, I don't know. No, I'm a type of person that you could actually talk to. Like, I give best friend, I give wife vibe, I give girlfriend vibe. Like, you know, at the end of the day, come to my mouth. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let's discuss it. Let's resolve it. And this, that, that, that was that. But he had ended up trying to go to South Beach to meet his homeboys and whatever. And so happened that I had left his house that same morning to go to work at Papa John's. I wasn't at work for like a good, I probably was at work for like, hmm, I would say about 50 minutes or like an hour. So I guess his sister tried to call me or whatever. His sister tried to call me. I don't want this. I know this story's not going to be all over the place. 
I'm trying to get to the main point of this story because so many people always ask me like, oh, what happened to ghosts? What happened to ghosts? What happened to ghosts? What happened to ghosts? I was Ghost Last Girlfriend when he passed away. And that's on period. That's on period. You got something to say? You better watch your mouth. And that's on period. But I had went to work or whatever. And I left his house. Mind y'all. You know, you gotta do the do, leave the house, go to work. So so he he I don't even think he told me he was I think he did tell me he was gonna meet the boys at the beach, but I wasn't sure. I just know he was I think he was phone call to meet up or whatever. And my phone rang at work, but I know I can't answer my phone. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna wait. So his sister called him the job phone, and no, I don't know if it was the job phone or if it was my phone. It was one of the phones, and she called me, and she wasn't like crying or anything. And that's one thing I, I really can't do somebody crying and try to tell me something called me get aggravated, and I'm like, what's really going on? So she was like, she was like, hey Ash, um. Something bad really happened to Hector. And I was like, what happened? I'm at work, mind you. In front of all these customers trying to get these pizzas on the, uh, in the oven or whatever. So she like, oh, something happened to Hector. So I'm like, what happened? So she was like, something really bad happened. So my heart just like instantly just sinks to my stomach. Because I'm like, something bad happened to my man. Like, what happened? So she was like, do you want to... Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? I'm trying not to cry again. But um I was like, I wanna hear I wanna hear the bad news. I wanna hear the bad news first. Bad news is that he got hit off his bike and he's bleeding very bad. Right? But the good news is that he's still breathing. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I was like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I was like, wait, what happened? He, he left out the house, trying to go to the beach. No helmet, no equipment, just out there. I don't know. I guess they had a little bike show or whatever at South Beach. And he basically was just speeding too fast. And he got hit off his bike. He was brain dead. And he had to be airlifted. But by the time I had registered that in my head, I just, I called my godmom because she's like close to the manager. She's like basically one of the managers. So I called her and I'm like, something happened to ghost and I'm going to get ready to leave. So, um, so, um, she was like, I right, ready, don't worry about it. So while I'm telling her that, my manager talked about something. Oh, if you leave, you will have to bring a daughter's note. A daughter's note? Bitch, my motherfucking boyfriend might be motherfucking dead. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I was just all back mad. So I was like, in my head, I was like, bitch, I ain't coming back to this motherfucking job. Like, bitch, you just try me. That that would have been your baby mama or somebody, even though, you know, we ain't had no kids. But that that would have been somebody that you really love. And it's a, it's a family emergency. Like, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't take my kind of weakness when all I do is be dedicated. But boom, I had left there. I went to the mama house, picked up a sister, and a, I think I picked up a sister and a cousin or whatever. And we had went to the trauma center, the, yeah, the trauma center. And everybody was there, everybody crying and stuff, crying and stuff. And I'm like, in my heart, I'm just making, I'm just like, I just hope he okay, I hope he okay, I hope he okay. I hope you're okay, I hope you're okay. I'm not trying to go all about anybody crying because it ain't going to do nothing but make me feel like something really bad happened to him and I'm trying to be positive about the whole thing the whole time. So, when I get there, everybody's falling now, everybody crying, everybody's sad. So, I'm like, I just want to see him. Like, I don't, I'm not even, I'm not crying at the moment, but it's like, it's like I'm shaking on the inside. But it's like, it's like, okay, you, you leave. You leave. And then these people gonna just have the, the high most to say while we just started talking. I was about to hit a year in our relationship. And all these people that started talking made me seem like basically I'm a nobody. Like, 
And that's one thing I don't I don't do. If I know it's real, it's real. But we got to the trouble center, everybody cried again. So the people finally had to let me in because they had to let the um last group leave out. So when I had came inside, so excuse me. When I had walked inside or whatever, um I instantly looked at him. I just knew he didn't look like himself. Like his head was just so swollen that I, it did not. It didn't look like him. So the first thing I automatically did was I, I felt all over his body. I rubbed his legs down and I started praying. As soon as I started praying, I closed my eyes and I swear to God, I heard the machine start that beeping. I said they just told me that he's on a breathing machine. The machine started beeping as if he came back alive. So once that happened, the people, the nurses or whatever, they started panicking because the mama, she next to him, she crying or whatever. She just like, she just crying, going crazy, going crazy. And you know, in my heart, you just feel like, you know, just pray my situation. Because prayer is so strong. Prayer is serious. And I tell everybody, if you ever going through something, just pray. Like, just pray. You just never know. And I just feel like you cannot, you cannot just give up like that. So once I heard the monitor start or whatever, I was like, like, what's going on? Like, I know this means that he's still breathing. Like, do he have a chance of, you know, being okay? Like, is y'all going to do something about it? So they rushed me out. They rushed me out the place or whatever. And I just instantly started crying because I knew that he had came back alive. And I was like, I was like, what are they going to do with him now? So then when I walked down and I walked outside the place, because I didn't want to be inside with with um with the other people, or whatever, that wasn't his blood family. So I went outside to get some fresh air and I just I just broke down. And then my sisters that, you know, I done grew a team with that he had gave me that position to have to put my name over the girls. So I could, you know, we could have a boy side and a girl side. He didn't want to just be the one just picking everybody. We need to just build a whole big old group. So my girls came outside and they was basically like, you know, how you mean to make us feel that I'm okay and stuff like that. But it's like I could not breathe because my heart was so heavy. And then the lady, she came out and she was like, how did she get home? She told my godmama. She was like, how did she get home? So she was like, I'm just driving her car. So then, while I'm trying to walk away or whatever, and they like, make sure I'm okay, make sure I'm okay. And I walk, because I'm just continuing to pray. I'm just continuing to pray. And she was like, she was like, Ghost passed away five minutes when she had, when she walked out. He, he died. Five minutes. So when that machine had started beeping, you trying to tell me, that he he basically was here with me. She said, soon as I left out, he had passed away. Because he waited on me. When she said he waited on me, I didn't care what anybody had to say after that. Because of course it was going to be drama and chaos. Everybody wanted to be known. And everybody wanted to be seen. And everybody wanted to be heard. But as long as I feel like I have that, you know, sacred place in my heart and we had that bond to where you know at the end of the day nothing could be broken between us that's what we had and I just I just I was sad but it's like it's like so now I know that his spirit will always be traumatizing to me and it's still trying to be traumatizing to me 
for the simple fact that it's like when I actually like after a year or some change or whatever, when I actually started talking to people, I started talking to females because I just felt like I wanted somebody to understand me. If I was talk to, if I felt like I was to talk to a guy, you know, they they act like they want to hear what I got to say, but it's like if you really feeling where I came from, I don't came from a very hurtful place. Like all I want is comfort and love. Like that's all I wanted. And to have my happiness back. But of course, I can't go out here finding and looking for happiness. God got to send it to me. That's what I had to accept. So, so once I did, you know, broke out of my element and I was started talking or whatever, it's like every person I talked to was like, you can go down the hill. All this talking stuff, all this. So I'm like, I never had these problems when I was talking to ghosts. And it's like, Nothing could never go right when I'm always the one that's trying to make it right. I'm like, things was like, it felt like it was too good to be true when me and him was together. I don't understand what it is <laughs> with this gen I, I really don't understand. I'm not going to figure it out. But I just, I'm just glad that God had brought me out of my, you know, out of my depression mode. I'm glad that, you know, God had people by my side to keep me strong. It's a lot of people that look up to me. And a lot of people really want to know what happened. Like, and then when they hear when they hear that I was DJ Ghost Nas girlfriend, they're like, "So how did you like really take it? Like that? It really? How I'm the type of person I hold stuff in? I hold stuff in. These I hold stuff in, or I talk to people that you know I'm close around. And it's like for the people that actually knew him longer or whatever, they just felt like I didn't have a care of the world. I'm not a drama problematic person. So I'm not going to be around people that's try, try to hear me out. But at the end of the day, oh, that's where it's don't really matter. So what's the point of talking? So that's the type of person I am. If you if you know what was real, then there's nothing to speak on. So when I felt like, you know, I don't felt a happy place in my heart, I did visit his little grave site or whatever. And I had a conversation with him because I was like, oh, I was like, I really think this is the one, not saying this is the one, but I really think, like, you know, I want to, like, just let myself uh, figure out what's next for me. And that's it. And it's like, when I did that, I felt like a burden left, lifted off my chest or whatever. It's like, okay, you could go, but I just feel like he still was continuing to watch over me. He still continued to watch over me. Every toxic relationship I done been through, I done been through so much. Not even so much. I've been through two toxic relationships. Two toxic relationships. And I'm trying to figure out, like, what is it? Like, maybe, maybe girls just don't want me to be with nobody. I done came to a conclusion that I just have to pray. And I guess Jesus will take me because life is too short. And I done been through that trauma when I was young. My mom's birthday was the next day. This was March 22nd, 2000. And I just really hope that I told this story or whatever. I, I, I don't know. I know, I know it's all over the place. I was trying to remember like it was going. Y'all just like, comment, subscribe to this video. And please keep me in your prayers. I am doing fine. I, I'm doing fine. Everybody else, I just wish that, you know, y'all y'all pray for y'all loved ones. Please don't take nobody counters for weakness. If you love somebody, you love somebody. And continue to pray for that person because you just never know when they last day or when last day. Life is too short and it's too precious to be taken away from you. So please be smart about your decisions. Please, please, Please be careful with your surroundings and the people that you be around. And that's all that I got to say. So this camera's come off and turn off again. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to check out my other videos and my other clips. Not my other clips. I'm going to do some more later too. Be sure to check out my other videos and like, comment, subscribe. Please show some love. I'll show some love back. Look how my tongue. My show. Please, please. I had a little thing so far, okay? Please.
show some love and I will show some love back. Catch me in the next video. I love y'all. Y'all run the G's up and that's on gay. Now let me see flex. Let me see flex. Let me see flex. Let me see. Come on. Walk. Uh, walk. Walk. Ha, ha, ha. It's not me where I am. Go, 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 Let's go.